Now that's a big pickup right there. And so often we focus on how the quarterback's faking up play action. How about everyone being in on the deal and picking it up? Second, third levels, you could see them trying to recover. They bit, worked out offensively. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. They'll run with Elliott. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets them to second and four. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Again, it's Elliott. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. On first down, Shaw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. Oh, Elliott going to be hit. He coughs it up, loose football. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Second and six. He's going to let it go deep for the end. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by Justin Reed. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Two-score game here in the fourth, and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you would think maybe you're just sitting on and trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. Back out is the AFC offense. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal. Here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. Now they'll try to convert on third and six after the four-yard completion. Man open left side is Brown. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 90 yards receiving now for him in the ball game. It's a first down. And a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. To the air again here, Rivers. And he completes it to Westbrook. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. Rivers now to throw on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and 10. Throwing again. Rivers. This will be caught by Brown. In today's football, the receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage. When you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant you the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Swift play, 89. They'll go for it with Bell. And nowhere to go. He's going to be stopped behind the line. Le'Veon Bell stops short of the line to gain. And this defense will take over right at midfield. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're... And the ball is out. Jones got hit and lost it. And that's picked up by the AFC. And they will set up shop at their own 
46-yard line. Partner, that one looked like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score game, so hold on here, not done in the fourth. Now let's discuss Antonio Brown as he heads back out there now. He's knocking on that door for a 100-yard game. And what receiver doesn't want to be part of the Century Club? Every receiver, when the game starts, wants to have 100 or more yards next to his name. It's a badge of honor, but it also shows that you're helping out your team. And he has certainly been helping out his team so far. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Rivers now from the 50. Caught here by Bell. He lost two there, and it's third down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yarded. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. Now Rivers. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brown. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Did they maybe play that too safely on third down? I know you don't want to just throw a ball blindly downfield, but that didn't help them a whole lot. I think they probably said if it's open, take the shot. If not, get something safe because we do have fourth down to try and pick it up. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Rivers to throw for it on fourth. And that is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield right at the 48. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 48. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And an alley to run. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Back to throw, Shaw. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. Let's go. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Throwing on first down, Shaw, and that's complete to Adams. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. And that's gonna be caught. Touchdown NFC, Devontae Adams. There to make the grab. And the NFC able to widen their advantage. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Lux with the extra point, and that will make this a 19-point game. A drive there of just four plays, and it's finished off by an NFC touchdown.
After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Back onto the field now comes the wideout Antonio Brown. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their go. defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? It's usually not. Oh, and this ball is tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And this will be a touchdown. I have to believe that in a Pro Bowl situation, you know, we talk about these defensive backs during the season, that they're educated gamblers. They take the education out of it. They just go for the football here. Hey, try and make a big play. And if you get one, you really look terrific in this game. Lutz to try to add the PAT. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This fielded at the two. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The AFC offensive unit getting set to take over. And they gave up the pick six. And now they'll be looking to right the ship here. Now as a quarterback... Are you a little more cautious this go around? You should be, just because after what you gave up, but you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in and now you're not going to play loose enough to give your team a chance to score. But you still have to be careful because those defensive guys. Yeah, he will score. Touchdown, AFC. Antonio Brown, 71 yards. And the AFC able to cut into the lead. That's what we want right there, CD. It's a Pro Bowl. Give us some of these long touchdowns. We want plays that cover a lot of ground. We want long-distance plays, whether long-distance runs, long-distance passes. It doesn't matter. In the Pro Bowl, big plays are what we're all looking for. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And that'll make this a 19-point game. And we can break that scoring drive down pretty easily. One play, long touchdown pass into the end zone. And it is gobbled up by the NFC. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. On first down, it's Elliott. The tackle is made by Adore Jackson. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They go to Elliott again. And he gets it down to the 32. The offense on third down tonight. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. And he's got some space here. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets them a new set of downs. 
got an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's the NFC with the football as we welcome you back. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Julio Jones once again the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. The incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense is going to crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes the defense dictates it. If they're going to crowd it, you may have no other choice but to throw it downfield. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. A good gain there on third and eight of seven yards, and now a decision here on fourth and one. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there, I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And Lutz's kick is good. And that will extend their lead now up to 22. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? Following the made field goal, Lutz to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a Let's knee, go. and they'll start at the 25. The AFC offense making their way back out. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Throwing again on second down. Rivers looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. Now the AFC going to take a timeout. It's their second as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. On first and 10, Rivers. This short throw caught by Goddard. Now the AFC going to use their final timeout of the half as they'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. Looking to throw again on second down. Rivers got a man. It's Brown. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Here we go. Rivers with a first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Rivers again. He's going to let it fly. And nearly picked it off. He had a chance to come down with that in the end zone, but it'll wind up just being incomplete. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and 10. Throwing Rivers. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. So, Charles, a victory for the NFC. Final thoughts on this Pro Bowl? We had some fun, didn't we? Absolutely. A lot of excitement, some big plays to watch, a lot of those great matchups that we don't get to see during the regular season because sometimes teams don't play against each other. And, oh, by the way, no one got hurt. There's the win for everyone. I think the fans enjoyed this one. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.
feel like, yeah, all day like.